Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Mark from Cricket Bat Info and today we're going to be having a look at one, another one of these substandard grey nickels that have appeared on eBay and I've purchased straight after this. So what we've got here is an Grey Nichols Max. This is the 500 series and it says here, select grade three willow, ready play. So that means it's got that uh, pre-preparation, which would probably consists of a slightly firmer uh, press and some mechanical way to try and uh, harden those edges. Instead of having the standard grip that would come with the Max, they've just applied a, a standard zone grip. Uh, in the green, which at least matches the colors. You've got here, this is bat number 21. I'll leave the original eBay link from the purchase so you can see the bat as I found it, but you'll see who the seller is as well. So this was $125 Australian delivered. So I'll say that again, $125 Australian delivered. These bats sell retail, I would say somewhere approaching 300, maybe 280 or something like that. I haven't even bothered to look it up, but I saw it and I thought, oh, you know what, let's have a look. I did two of the substandard bats last year and one was nice, that was the uh, Atomic and then I did the Ultra and that was an absolute plank. Firstly, on the sticker there, 27.9 and I can confirm on the scale it's exactly 27.9, there is no scuff sheet on it. Let's talk about the grains. So you can see there the grains are a bit wavy, they're not perfectly straight, they're not perfectly even either. So we've got one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 grains. And look at that, that's actually the heartwood there. So the bat is pretty much all um, redwood. So that's the center of the uh, tree where it's actually, there's no moisture traveling up and down it. That means that it's gonna be a lot harder and a lot more brittle, but for $125. And you should be expecting particularly with heartwood bats, uh, that you're probably going to get, get about a season um, if everything goes to plan. If you start to get a, a big massive crack, knowing heartwood, which is on that drier side, it will eventually travel through the bat and there'll be curtains for it. Uh, but yeah, 10 grains, um, I can't complain about that. You can see there the edge, I would call that probably a mid swell, uh, but that spine is a lot higher, so it's traveling a lot higher to bring a bit of that weight up. And you can see here immediately there is concaving through the profile. And that's to leave it with a reasonably big edge. And we'll confirm that now. And there you go, 39 mil edge on a 279 bat. I think that's pretty good. A lot of you would uh, be really happy with that. 14.8. Check out the center up here. 38.7, so that's really good. Um, there's a decent thickness. Uh, running there, and, and I'll tell you about that. The toe is pretty thick too, 24.6, and the center of the toe is 26.5. The spine height itself, well, we're gonna probably be looking at about 62 uh, or something like that. I've got this at 61, so we're gonna have to go a little bit less than that, and it's 60 mil. So, you know, back in the old days, like, 15 years ago when they were doing the smaller edges, much bigger spines, when they went for the full convex shape and it was fully rounded, 60 would have been about what you were looking at. Uh, so it's still a big bat by um, those sort of standards. Let's put it through the gauge and have a look at what's going on. And immediately, as I turn it this way, you can see just how much wood is uh, removed from the profile. And because it's a light bat, if I pull that down, you can see the concave and it's pretty extreme. We're looking at about five mil of concave, maybe even six. And yeah, um, obviously the, the uh, thing about this is they've tried to maintain that edge and toe and uh, height up through here. So they've taken a lot of weight out in the middle of the bat. Now, bow. So this is actually a bowed profile. If I show it to you that way, uh, you can see that mid to low bow coming through there. And there is a little bit of um, camber on the face too. I'd call this probably a four millimeter camber. So, you know, taking that into consideration with your 39 mil edges, that's actually a really big edge when you, when you look at it that way. Stickers, I'm trying to work out exactly what this thing has failed at. And I don't know, uh, it might be there's some damage. I, don't, I can't see it, but look, it's nice and clean on the back. Those, um, 
grains look nice running through it. And that's the uh, substandard stamp there. If you ever see that on a bat, that means it's been sold out of the factory. Uh, it's not sent on to uh, retailers. Normally it's at some discount. And it's got YA on that shoulder. Uh, two letters on in the stamping like that means that it's a bat made in India. I think it's Vector X. Okay, so you've got grey nickels on the toe there. That's a, just a standard black toe guard. Um, having a look uh, close up for any damage or cracks that I can see, and I can't see anything. So I think that this has been uh, purely downgraded on the fact that there's so much heartwood in it. So the handle itself is really nice thickness, and, and I've got to say I've been used to grey nickels handles lately being really thin, but look at that, you've got 30 8 mil, um, so that's that's nice to see. Uh, it is a semi-oval, almost peaking a little bit in, to meet the V of your bottom hand, and it's on the round side here. It does feel really nice. Roll down the grips, and you know immediately, really good quality binding. Oh, I can see a number here, 41. Doesn't mean anything to me. That's all glued on. Three rubber inserts, typical of grey nickels, and you've got the um, handle thing there. So it does remind me a lot uh, of any sort of quality uh, grain nickels you buy these days. I know there's a big thing about getting a stew Cransby or bat, uh, but for 125 bucks, this just represents insane value. The feel. So in the hands, yeah, it feels like a light bat. Probably because of the amount of mass away from the handle and that nice thick handle, I'd say it probably feels, ooh, 2.7? Yeah, 2.7. And it already has, as I showed you, 2.7.9 on there. What is it? Oh, there you go, it's 2.7.8. It's actually lost a little bit since it's uh, got here, so that's atmospheric. Let's uh, clear all this and we'll give it a tap up. So we'll make sure it's in camera and we'll start at the toe. So it is on the harder side, but that feels nice there. Starting to feel a bit hard there. It's probably in that mid-low position. Low, it's going really well. Mid, slightly harder there. Um, so probably around there is your, your hitting area. Uh, not a lot going on up top, and that's because of all that wood that's been taken out. So pretty much it follows the shape of the bat, where you can see the concaving pretty much starts there. Most wood there, that's where it's going the best. And it actually sounds, it's on the harder side, but I reckon this is actually going to go pretty well. There you go. I'm pretty happy with that for a uh, substandard bat. Hit and miss. You don't never know what you're getting. Could be an absolute plank. But um, that does represent really good value for money and I'm pretty wrapped. Before I finish the video, I just remind everybody, if you like what I'm doing, consider subscribing and hit like if you've enjoyed the video. There's always one every Sunday. We'll see you on the next one. Grainicals substandard.